Star Wars 1313 was the highly anticipated Star Wars game that was originally revealed back in 2012 and it featured a young Boba Fett in the underground 1313 level of Coruscant. But as we all know, unfortunately, Star Wars 1313 got cancelled and in this video, I'm going to talk about some groundbreaking recent news including how the director of Star Wars 1313 Dominic Robilliard has now joined Skydance New Media to create a brand new Star Wars game with Amy Henning. Now, Dominic recently posted about this on LinkedIn. And I'm going to reveal to you what he had to say about working on this exciting new Star Wars project over at Skydance New Media. Now, Skydance New Media also talked about what genre the new Star Wars game will be. And then also in other news, the long-standing MMORPG Star Wars The Old Republic is actually being moved to a whole new developer away from Bioware. I've got all the details on this, including who the new developer will be and what it means for the future of Star Wars The Old Republic. But first, we must talk about Star Wars 1313. And to do that, we're going to take a look at IGN's new article about this. This is what the article had to say about what's going on with the previous director of Star Wars 1313. So it says the director of the scrapped Star Wars 1313 has joined the team working on Amy Henning's upcoming Star Wars game at Skydance New Media. As reported by SWNN, Dominic Robilliard announced on LinkedIn that he's incredibly excited to work with Skydance on its upcoming Star Wars and Marvel games. And he said the following, he said, I am incredibly excited to share that I will be joining Amy Henning, Julian Beek, and the incredible team at Skydance New Media as their game director. He then goes on to say to collaborate with such an amazing group of developers and to play in the iconic worlds of Marvel and Star Wars again is a dream come true. I cannot wait to get started, end quote. So there's a lot of excitement going on over at Skydance New Media. And the article then goes on to state, Robilliard was director of Star Wars 1313 ahead of its cancellation in 2013. The game was seemingly deep in development and followed a young Boba Fett as he ran bounty hunting missions on Coruscant. And as you can see from the footage that's playing in the background here, this is footage from E3 2012. And yes, you can tell that the game was pretty darn far along in development. Not only did they have the graphics in place, but they also had the animations in place. They had the weapons in place. There's a cover system. You know, the enemies look like they had great animations. And, you know, even today, this game looks actually pretty decent. So, you know, it's very disappointing, of course, that this game got canceled. But hopefully we see the return of Star Wars 1313 over at Skydance New Media or even a much better game that is in the image of 1313 and takes all the original elements from the original game and makes them even better. Now, if you're wondering what genre the new Star Wars game is going to be over at Skydance New Media, well, they did talk about this and they said the new upcoming Star Wars game is described as being a richly cinematic action adventure game featuring an original story set in the Star Wars galaxy. And they also said Skydance New Media also described their new Star Wars game as a new category of narrative entertainment. End quote. So with that in mind, you know, the question still remains, is this going to be Star Wars 1313? Now, they did use the words original story uh, for their game. So that kind of indicates to me that's going to be their own original story. But of course, they could be misleading us and we could be surprised with a 1313 remake or again, a game that's very, very similar in the image of 1313, but does things much better than what we saw during the E3 2012 gameplay demo. So what are your thoughts on this? Leave a comment down below. Do you think Skydance New Media is working on Star Wars 1313? Or do you think it's going to be a totally different game?
Now, I also have some more details about what Amy Henning will be doing at Skydance New Media. And of course, Amy Henning worked on the Uncharted series in the past, so she is super talented. And that she also worked on the Project Ragtag Star Wars game over at EA. That game was unfortunately canceled, as we all know. Uh, but this is what the article says about what Henning will be doing over at Skydance New Media. It says, Henning's new Star Wars game is her second project at Skydance New Media, where she is also working on a completely original game set in the Marvel Universe. Henning first joined Skydance Media in 2019, where she started a new division based around story-focused experiences that will employ state-of-the-art computer graphics to provide the visual fidelity of television and the film, but with an active lean-in experience that puts the audience in the driver's seat, end quote. So that's very, very exciting that Amy Henning will not only be working on Star Wars, but Marvel as well. So I cannot wait to see these projects finally come to light. And then also with that quote, they describe uh, her projects as story focused experiences, but with an active lean in experience that puts the audience in the driver's seat. I'm not sure exactly what that means. And I don't even know if that applies to the Star Wars game, by the way. That might apply more to the Marvel game because Skydance New Media already confirmed that their Star Wars game is actually an action-adventure game. So I'm hoping that the Star Wars game is more of a traditional action-adventure game as we saw with the Star Wars 1313 E3 showcase because, again, I think deep down inside, we're all really wanting to see uh, either 1313 return in a big way or a game that's even better than 1313 and that just wows us when it finally is revealed. And also, I've got some groundbreaking news about the MMORPG Star Wars The Old Republic. So this also comes from IGN. And it says, EA is nearing an agreement to move the ongoing development and operation of MMORPG Star Wars The Old Republic from BioWare to third-party studio Broadsword Online Games. According to sources familiar with the matter, Broadsword and EA have signed a letter of intent with the deal expected to be finalized as soon as this month. The agreement would see the Old Republic handed over to current Ultima Online and Dark Age of Camelot developer Broadsword Online, who is run by former Mythic Entertainment co-founder and Bioware VP Rob Denton who previously worked on the Old Republic in its early days, end quote. Now, as far as the future content goes for Star Wars The Old Republic or any updates in the future, this is what they had to say about that. They said the Old Republic will continue to see planned content updates, such as the upcoming patch 7.3 and the next PvP season, with more expected down the line. EA will remain as the game's publisher, while BioWare will focus its resources on single-player games such as Dragon Age and Mass Effect, end quote. So again, some very interesting stuff going on with Star Wars The Old Republic. And as soon as I get any more news and developments on Star Wars The Old Republic and what's really going on with this game, I'll let you all know. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I've got tons of news and details coming up on Star Wars Outlaws, which is the new Ubisoft open world game that recently showed gameplay at Ubisoft Forward. And then there's tons of new upcoming Star Wars games to look forward to and talk about as well. But I'll see you all next time. Take it easy and may the force be with you always.